Did you ever hear someone say, get with the program? Because people that say that have control issues, don't they? Romans 12, verses 2 and 3. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt every man the measure of faith. And for those Paul hating under the law slaves that may be watching, I ask that you watch the video that I'll put in the description box before commenting called Why Trash Paul While Skipping Over Solomon's Whoredom. Because a law slave might get a verbal spanking with words if they're not careful. Now more from Paul about a different kind of being transformed. 2 Corinthians 11, 12 to 15. But what I do, that I will do, that I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion, that wherein they glory they may be found even as we. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Some who are not conformed to this world are transformed by the renewing of their mind. And Satan's ministers are transformed in another way posing as ministers of righteousness. And Satan's ministers who are conformed to this world are the false powers that be who can't keep their own separation of church and state law for ministers' sake. Please listen carefully while I read Romans 13 verses 1 to 8. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger, to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. O oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Where's the separation of church and state if Obama, the abortion salesman, is a power that be, which is a minister of God? Obama is not the power that be, or a power that be, that Paul was talking about, obviously. How ignorant can voters be who care to support these busybody ministers of Satan? Matthew 5, verses 17 and 18. Think not that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So how does this jot and tittle fit in with the Torah bull that the synagogue of Satan sells? Deuteronomy 31, verses 16 to 20. 
And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and will forsake me and break my covenant, which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured. And many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have wrought, and that they are turned unto other gods. Now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it in the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I shall have brought them into the land, which I swear unto their fathers, that floweth with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten, and filled themselves, and waxen fat, then will they turn unto other gods, and serve them, and provoke me, and break my covenant. Did you ever hear a, a rabbis sitting around talking about that song of Moses that makes their old covenant worthless? Because they did turn to other gods and break God's covenant, the old covenant. Or do they sing the song in Exodus, the song of Moses, these people are damned without Christ and choose lies over him. Please consider what it says in John chapter 12 verses 37 to 50. But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him, that the saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report? And to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because that Isaiah said again, He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. These things said Isaiah when he saw his glory and spake of him. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him, but because of the Pharisees they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words, and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me, and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. The blood of the Lamb, who is our Passover, and the word of our testimony overcomes Satan himself, as I've said before, and as is written, and will eventually destroy the kings of the earth and false powers who are perverts of law. Revelation 12, verses 9 to 12. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. These people that dwell upon the earth are different than the ones that sit in heavenly places in Christ. 
I just wanted to uh, mention that. So there's some wicked people that are going to feel more and more and more pressure as this time of great trouble goes on. I also wanted to mention that uh, I saw Satan in a vision a few mornings ago and he was in a tube and I could feel his torment. He was trapped in like a, a, a glass tube that I could see through and there was nothing he could do and this is just something that I know that father was showing me about him and I saw him go down this tube like he was just being flushed you know flushed down or something uh, he went into uh, into this into a lake that's what I saw it was uh, it was water and uh, I just wanted to mention that because it kind of goes along with things that are written in Revelation. I decided to do a video outside today because I, I really like to. It's usually very windy here. And this is in Gillette, Wyoming, where we're at. It's not real windy right now. It's kind of hard when it's windy. It's hard to, you know, it's hard to hear sometimes. The wind will make a noise in the camera. So this is what I was led to talk about today. Thank you.